How is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Um, I started very young. I was in... I was the youngest of four, so I was always kind of acting, to be honest. And then uh, straight into high school, I did a lot of theatre and drama. And um, I moved from Ireland to New York to go to drama school. And uh, straight out of drama school, I got my first off-Broadway play, so just sort of started rolling with it. And um, it was actually my commercial agent, Carol Ingram, this new girl in New York, who uh, got me involved with Red Dead Redemption 2. And from there, things just sort of been going on. I got a couple of indie features coming out this year. So a lot of, a lot of independent work is what, I, is what I kind of focus on, short films and uh, film. There's a massive freedom to not really having to either worry about the audience in terms of theatre or the camera in terms of film and TV. Because, you know, film and TV, you're always kind of hitting a mark where, you know, a lot of the time you're worried about angles and you're worried about where, it's gonna, where the shot's going to be and you can't cross, like, the 180 and all this stuff. In motion capture, they just had cameras set up everywhere and we got to sort of free reign act as if it was the theatre in the round. It just sort of, it sort of un unbound, uh, unconstricted the acting in a sense. So I found it, I actually found it very fun, very freeing. Um, and my character had a lot of pretty heavy extremes, so I got to play a lot, which was, uh, which was really fun. Yeah. You're a no good, degenerate liar, a liar. You're exactly what you say you're not. You Whatever hear? Whatever you say, miss. Oh. oh, I've got a lot more to say to you. Perhaps some other time. I hope you drop down dead. I'll get lost, will you? You're as creepy as he is. Uh, <laughs> you know, it was um, it was a really, really exciting scene for me because I think it was very layered, and they did it really interestingly, you know? Uh, a lot of people thought that I was a snitch at the end of the day, and then we find out as you play the game that it really, really wasn't. It just, it created like uh, a lot more depth to the character for me, that she would go that far to tell those lies, to try and get something out of him. And I think, um, I think Dutch's reaction was just sort of like almost, almost a pivotal moment for him. Because for a minute he was like willing and ready to believe it, you know, anything to sort of move on and get the gang going. And then to know, to find out later that it wasn't me, I think also added like a really interesting layer for him and his decline. And yeah, Susan Grimshaw, man. <laughs> She's a killer. Kylie, I'm coming for you. <laughs> intimidated uh, as Sam was saying earlier the secret keeping was pretty difficult and I'm a very honest person I'm a good actor but a bad liar um, so withholding the truth for a long time was, was something very difficult for me but I, I I think because we are there day to day really just kind of working on our craft and working with so many talented people that the concept around the game was never really even talked about or considered so it just, it just didn't really cross my mind to be intimidated. So, uh, I guess so.